Hi guys. And we're gonna have a little fun today. I feel like we're in for something really good. <laughs> I love cheese. <laughs> These guys are smooth. I don't believe in anybody. Let's do it. Hi guys, this is Played Again. I'm Ginger. And I'm Mike. And we're here with another Patreon request. Yep. Ted in Calgary sent a very long note to introduce us to this band. Um, they're called Imperial Age. Yes, and from what I gather from his uh, very, very detailed information, mm -hmm. he, he, he's great. He always sends us like more, more than we can get into on the video, but it's always fun to know, right? It is. It's amazing. These ladies are like medical field, theater arts. Yep. Tra we have, so the two gals in the band are, one of them's a trained physician mm -hmm. who's also an opera singer. And the other one is also an opera singer and has like more degrees than you could count. And um, they have degrees in things like theater, right? Like they're true Renaissance gals. You know, so. you know what? I bet they wear short skirts and a long jacket. <laughs> Those of you who know the song, you know what I'm getting at. Yes. <laughs> You're probably right, they but sound not very, in this video. No, they not sound very impressive video. though. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. And uh, who doesn't like a gal that can can Do pick up just about anything, yeah. right? Like that's uh, it's very cool. That's why I got you. Is that why? Well, I can't sing. No. Well, I can sing, but nobody wants no, to hear it. No, but can these girls change an alternator? It's possible. Maybe. I Maybe. Don't know. Maybe, but I mean, I would probably come cheaper. <laughs> That's for sure. And with more swearing. You're, you're all the Renaissance gal I can afford. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's true. Yeah, I think you get your money's worth. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, I'm excited. This one is called The Legacy of Atlantis, and he says the video is quite elaborate. Oh, very and cool. You know how much I love that. I know you do. Yes. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. I'm liking these babes already. <laughs> I wasn't expecting synthesizers. No, it's cool though, right? Yeah. Doesn't he look like Legolas? Yeah. The redhead reminds me of somebody, and I can't place it for the life of me. Who sure reminds me? Deborah Messing. She looks like Deborah Messing. To me. I like his voice. Oh, nice.
down in the mix a little bit. There's some great tubular bells in there. I hear them. You know I love it. I know you do. Interesting tone to his voice. Yeah. It's, it's different. I like the, the ladies' voice. Yeah, when they all sing together, it's something really yeah. good. that bass. I like the synths in this one. Yeah. It's kind of suggestive of a distant horn section. Yeah. Recognize that one. Didn't that look like the ship from Prometheus? Remember? <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was a ruin. It's like a big round ring, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to go in this movie. <laughs> or I want to at least go see it. It's funny you talk, talk about him looking like Legolas, and I'm thinking, I could look like Legolas. And I'm like, nah. If I grew my hair long and put it back, it would puff up. To about three inches above my head. On what planet <laughs> could you ever look like Legolas? Well, see, I came to that conclusion as yeah. I was thinking about it. And I was like, nah. <laughs> I don't know where you come up with this stuff. Yeah. But we all know that if, if I was any character in that movie, I'd be that dwarf. <laughs> right? And my axe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't I be? Right? Yeah. I would be the dwarf. You would. Strong and mighty and loyal. There you go. And a little, and a little bit, bit unrefined. A little bit mean. <laughs> oh, oh, you injure me, sir. I do not. Well, I'm going to get that axe. <laughs> See? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> so There's what do you think of the song? difference between, between mean and righteous. Oh, uh, okay. See? What did you think of that song? It was good. Mm -hmm. It was good. I would definitely check out more of their stuff. 
Um, I really liked all of their voices. They mm -hmm. all sounded really good. I liked how rich and deep his tone was, for sure. And they all sounded good together. They really did. What yeah. about you? I liked it too. Yeah. Um, it was different. I like it. It was a nice use of the synths, as you said. Mm -hmm. um, the you know. I love bass. There was some nice mm -hmm. bass at the bottom end of that song. Mm -hmm. uh, their vocal harmonies were cool. His voice was unusual, and, and I kind of like it, but I'm kind of like a little bit puzzled about it, too. I don't know why. It's hard, it's hard to explain. It sounded a little bit just unusual, maybe a little unfamiliar. It puts me on edge a little bit. Oh. But, uh, but it was cool. It was cool. And when all three of them together, mm -hmm. sounded really good. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. Well, Ted. And you said Deborah Messing, and I see where you're going with that. Yeah. But that's not who she's reminding me of. No, you know what? When it came closer to the end and we got a better look at her face, I thought, oh, not so much Deborah Messing, actually. But I can't so think I don't of know. who else she reminded me of, but I felt the same way. Yeah. It was interesting, though. It was a good, it was a good video. I wanted those girls' costumes. Right? <laughs> right? Well, I, I didn't, but I wanted them dress. for you. And I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> You could have had his costume, and then you could look like Legolas, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the hairstylist better get out the thinning shears. <gasps> oh, well, we could just shave it all off. All right. Is this is nope. Anyway, thank you, Ted, for that suggestion. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that enough you're going to want to say, play it again. Don't forget to hit like. Subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications. You can find us on Twitter. We are at Play It Again MG. And thanks for coming out, guys.